Ever wondered how to make the perfect fried rice at home? Well, let me tell you, it's a favorite dish for many and can be easily whipped up right in your own kitchen. It's a wonderful blend of fluffy rice, crunchy vegetables, tender meat if you like, a scramble of egg, a dash of soy sauce, and a sprinkle of spices. Such a hearty meal, yet so simple to make. So, are you ready to embark on this culinary adventure? Stay tuned as we delve into the steps of making this delicious dish. Start by gathering all your ingredients. First off, we have our star of the show, the rice. Cold, pre-cooked rice is the secret to perfect fried rice. It's less sticky and easier to fry. Next, let's talk veggies. Peas, carrots, and bell peppers add a delightful crunch and vibrant color. But feel free to get creative and use what you have on hand. Then we have proteins. Chicken, shrimp, tofu, or even a simple egg can do the trick. It's all about balance, darling. Now the flavor makers, soy sauce and spices. Soy sauce gives that umami kick and a lovely golden hue to the rice. A dash of white pepper and a sprinkle of sesame oil can elevate the dish to new heights. And let's not forget green onions for that fresh, zesty finish. With your ingredients ready, it's time to start cooking. Cooking the rice is the first step in this process. Now there's a bit of an art to this, you see. It's not just about cooking rice as you would for a side dish. No, we're talking about creating a base for your fried rice that's going to carry all those delicious flavors and textures. So, how do we get started? Well, first off, you're going to need some rice. Any kind will do, but long grain is a good choice for its fluffiness and ability to separate nicely. Now, you could cook it fresh, but here's a little secret. Leftover rice, or rice that's completely cool, actually works best. Why, you ask? Well, it's because the moisture is less, which gives the rice a better texture and prevents it from turning mushy when frying. All right, now let's move on to the cooking part. You're going to want to heat up your wok or frying pan. Make sure it's nice and hot before you add your oil. This is important, as it's going to help give your rice that nice, crispy texture. Once your wok or frying pan is hot, add in your oil. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil, or even sesame oil for a bit of extra flavor. Now it's time to add your rice. Spread it out evenly in the pan and let it cook without stirring for a minute or two. This allows the rice to fry and get that golden color and crispy texture. After that, stir it around to ensure that all the rice gets fried evenly. Remember, the key here is patience. You don't wanna rush this process. Let the rice cook, let it fry, let it get that beautiful golden color. It's worth the wait, I promise. And just like that, you've now mastered the art of cooking rice for fried rice. You've got the foundation, the base, the heart of the dish ready. Next, we'll add the extras, the flavor boosters, the elements that will take this from simple cooked rice to a dish that's going to make your taste buds dance with joy. Now that your rice is ready, it's time to add the extras. And oh, honey, these extras are what give fried rice its vibrant personality and soulful flavor. First up, we've got our veggies. A mixture of peas, carrots, and bell peppers usually does the trick, but remember, the beauty of fried rice is its versatility, so feel free to toss in whatever vegetables you have in your crisper. Now you want to saute these in a bit of oil until they're just tender, but still have that delightful crunch. Next, we're moving on to the meat. Whether you're using chicken, beef, shrimp, or even tofu, the key here is to cook it separately. This way, each piece gets a nice sear, and you avoid that dreaded steamed texture. Once cooked, set it aside with your veggies. Now, let's talk eggs. A staple in any good fried rice, they add a wonderful richness and a pop of color. Crack those eggs right into the pan, scramble them up, and set them aside with the rest of your ingredients. All right, now comes the magic part, the seasoning. Fried rice wouldn't be fried rice without a good splash of soy sauce. Don't be shy with it, but don't drown your rice either. Add it in, give everything a good stir, and let it sizzle for a bit. And finally, we can't forget about our spices. A dash of white pepper, a pinch of salt, and if you like a little heat, a sprinkle of red pepper flakes. Remember, the spices should complement the dish, not overpower it. Once all your extras are cooked and seasoned, it's time to bring them back to the party. Add them into your pan with the rice and give everything a good toss. You want every grain of rice to be coated in that beautiful soy sauce and mingle with the other ingredients. Your fried rice is almost ready. The final step is to mix everything together. But we'll get to that soon enough. For now, take a moment to admire your work. You've created a symphony of flavors that's sure to make your taste buds dance. 
Mixing everything together is the final step in making perfect fried rice. Now that we have our cooked rice, sauteed vegetables, meat, and eggs, it's time to bring them all together. This is where the magic happens, y'all. First, we're going to combine all our ingredients in the pan. But remember, be gentle. You don't want to break those beautiful rice grains. Treat them like the pearls they are. Use a spatula to fold the ingredients together, rather than stirring vigorously. This method ensures an even distribution of the ingredients without damaging the rice. Now let's talk a bit about the seasoning. The beauty of fried rice is that you can adjust the flavors to your liking. If you prefer a bit more saltiness, feel free to add a dash more of soy sauce. And if you're a fan of heat, a sprinkle of crushed red pepper will do the trick. Just remember, it's always easier to add more seasoning than to take it away. So season with a light hand and taste as you go. When everything is mixed well and the seasoning is just right, it's time to serve. Transfer the fried rice to a serving dish and voila, you've just made a delicious meal from scratch. And there you have it, the perfect homemade fried rice. Serve it hot and enjoy.